we are ready for a launch. Here we go, encounter practice one in the surrendering guide. I'm so glad for your work on the four labs and if I could have snuck into that moment when you and your mentoring partnership took that time to talk about you know, what those responses of the heart were related to the labs, oh, it, it would bless me so much. But I hope it's been a good foundation to give you this movement for a launch. 10, nine, eight, seven. Well, you get the idea. We have a liftoff. First of four encounter practices in the surrendering guide. So look at the subtitle there under this practice one, and there'll be a subtitle like that under two, three, and four, because beyond the teaching, beyond the, the knowledge that we want to have, the biblical foundation, we want to engage our relationship with Jesus and develop this formation friendship. We want to unleash our gift of presence sense, our GPS in ways we've never done it before. So the surrendering prayer is very, very helpful in this regard. Uh, so you'll see some ideas there related to the surrendering prayer on page 43 that are important. And uh, I'm suggesting here a, a big idea. I want you to pray this prayer uh, daily throughout the duration of, of this study for however long it takes. And I make no apology for that because I've had such joy in praying this prayer most of the time daily for a period of a number of years. And this prayer, along with prayers that go with each of the guides, humbling, abiding, waiting, listening, these prayers form kind of the DNA of conversation between you and Jesus going forward. They pile on with what you already know of biblical prayers. You have the Lord's Prayer in your head and in your heart. You, you can take Psalm 23 and pray it so quickly. This is more biblical language, biblical foundation for you to have a conversational relationship with Jesus. Um, so you'll see some bullet point ideas there, creative thoughts you can engage, uh, practices to get this prayer in front of you. And, and for me, literally, and I hope for you, it, it starts the evening before I go to, go to bed at night. I, I need to be saying to the Lord, I, I want to have my first thoughts toward you in the morning. And when I, when I go to sleep like that, and, and I have this prayer uh, accessible in some way, if it's not memorized yet, um, I can roll out of bed and I can say, hello, <laughs> good morning, <laughs> instead of those other things people say when they wake up and roll out of bed. And I can say, you wake me at the morning watch. Uh, so get a little creative uh, with this. Look at all those scripture verses for each of the lines of the prayer and uh, then turn the page over to the next. Well, before you turn, let, let me just pray the prayer one time through uh, to give you a little sense of how it rolls out. And uh, one of the ideas there, the bullet points, is to take um, a strand of some sort, uh, cloth or leather, and pick out uh, 12 different beads, one for each line of the prayer. And uh, what I did was uh, four uh, different beads for each of the, the stanzas that are there in the, in the prayer, the three stanzas. And then I picked uh, different colors to go with those, those four lines of each stanza. And uh, you may get even more creative. You may pick a different bead for every line of the song that has some kind of meaning to you. But then as I pray the prayer, um, I can have this touch. I can have this practice in my hand. Lord, uh, you wake me at the morning watch. Your glory uh, moves me to my knees. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy. I cry out and beg you, please. Lead me to encounter you, your sacred presence like a flame. Open up my eyes and ears to worship now your holy name. Dear Father, Son, Holy Spirit, please transform my human heart. It's by your grace that I surrender. Teach me, Lord, this sacred art. Um, I, love, I love praying that prayer. And as you turn the pages, uh, you'll see this body of backdrop of biblical perspective about how each of the phrases uh, from the prayer have been established. And I especially like, uh, you know, getting an insight for these different phrases. And you'll see on that first one, you wake me at the morning watch. Jesus is a long day uh, grieving the loss of his cousin John, 
uh, feeding 5,000 people, breaking away to the mountaintop while sending the guys away in the boat and uh, spending time just alone with his heavenly father until the fourth watch of the morning when the guys are down on the lake and the wind is contrary and uh, perhaps the moon is shining brightly and Jesus comes walking on the water. It's a ghost! Well, you can imagine their, their surprise at being awakened in a sense at the morning watch, the fourth watch of the morning. And surely they fell on their knees to worship him when he climbed in the boat, possibly face down um, on the deck of the boat. Uh, turn the page over and you'll see uh, the beginning of the, the first chapter that you're going to engage with our most expert uh, late 1800s mentor, um, Andrew Murray. And this chapter, Absolute Surrender, is from his book by that same title. And it's going to lay a foundation of groundwork for what are we talking about surrendering to encountering Christ in formation friendship. Take time with the journaling spaces, get your pen out, don't skip over those, those parts. That's between you and Jesus. That's the moment when you're talking to him and he's talking to you. Really important. And the last page of journal, journaling on page 51 gives you uh, some sort of a review moment there in your experience so far in the surrendering guide. Now I want you to understand both mentors and mentees that when you gather together, you're not having a time of going over every point that's in the Bible study material or, you know, answering every question together. Um, this guide is, is creating an experience for you during the time apart from each other where you're going day by day with Jesus and you're listening for his voice and he's speaking to you and he's, he's prompting you. He's moving in your heart and you're journaling about that. And when you come together, you seize the moment and you share the evidence of what God has been saying to you in the context of your friendship. Enjoy, be blessed. See you with Encounter Practice 2.